Hey Jacko, I was testing out a new monitor and to show all of its qualities, I zoomed all the way in so everyone could see it. This was a mistake because I just set everything up and forgot about it. And once I saw the footage, it was a mess. So what was the mess? Well, in French, this is called Moiré. Moiré. Now let's get digital. Anyway, if we take a look at the original video, I'll have a couple of examples. We see some lines. A lot of them and it's annoying. Can you fix them? You can, to some degree, but the result is not the best, especially when it comes to monitors, if it's the main focus, because everything will be blurry. So this was one example. This was the second one. The effect is also very prevalent and it looks a bit different because we also have some ellipses. And again, this is the fix and it's also blurry. In this case, I zoomed out a little bit and we see the moiré effect throughout the whole screen, but at least it's not flickering. So when it comes to a fix, it looks a bit better, but again, it's blurry. So let's take a look at the example and what we can do to fix it. So I'll use this example. As you can see, the color is jumping a lot. We have bluish greenish in this section and we have reddish bluish in this section. So on this clip, I'll go to effects, type in noise and you have to go to open effects and apply the noise reduction. At this point though, I'm not sure if this is studio only or if this is also available in the free version. Once the effect is applied and also let me go back to timeline proxy resolution so we see everything. I can now close this, go to the inspector tab, the effects is opened and we have some options available to us. We'll basically be adjusting the chroma threshold in the temporal threshold and also in the spatial threshold. So you have to uncheck this option and apply the chroma, which in this case, I don't really see any difference, but if you apply the luma threshold, this is blurry, as you can see. And also what you may want to do is to adjust the motion range to medium or large, depending on what you have. So in the medium range, I also don't see any difference. And in the large, I also don't see any difference. So this will depend on the media clip that you have. Now, if I go to the spatial and adjust the chroma, we should see some difference. Maybe if I go to this section, so the red is getting toned down a little bit. As you can also see here at this point, and let's see if the temporal threshold will now do anything. It might be affecting the red channel by a tiny bit as well. Usually you don't want these values to be maximum values and also change this to medium. So in this case, this is the best that you could do. Maybe you could set the frames from between three to five, but this is also more taxing on the system. And now we could also blend this. So the luma threshold, you don't want to adjust too much because everything is then a blurry mess, maybe a tiny bit. And the top one, you can adjust to maximum as it doesn't really affect the text. Maybe it dims it a little bit. Now this is full quality. As you can see, it's a little bit slow. So that is why I have disabled previously the timeline proxy resolution set to half so I could play it in real time. But by doing so, the resolution is half of the original. So we still have some lines, but this is the best that you can do. In this example, I'll show you what you can do in the free version. So we'll go to the color page. I'll use Alt S, but you can simply do this in the 
original node. So all it has to make a new serial node, you could also right click, add node, add serial. In this node, you now want to right click, color space, go to UIV. I'm not 100% sure what this will do, but I think it has to do with turning the color space to UIV, which means that it has the monochrome values, which you can also find here by doing this. So this is now in the UIV space. If I do this in this one, this would be black and white. So this is the Y in the UIV and the UV are the actual representation of the color. So this is what will be boosting or adjusting and you adjust that by going to the blur section. So in the blur tab, we'll be adjusting the radius and maybe the horizontal to vertical ratio with radius. You can adjust all three channels at once, which is probably not what you want. So you can unlink this to adjust each channel separately. If you go high, this will blur the channel and if you go low, this will sharpen it. And then you have the horizontal to vertical ratio. Nothing will happen if you don't make any changes to the radius. In this case, we do have some changes. Let me just increase this so we can see that it actually does something. You can also unlock the horizontal to vertical ratio to make the adjustments. But if you have tiny adjustments here, this ratio also will not do much. Now this is what the moiré effect also can look like, a total mess, but it gets better if you zoom out, as you can see. But what you can also end up with is the effect with thin lines, which you may think are pixels, but they are not. So in this case, I will also apply the noise reduction to this clip, just because it's faster to do and easier to adjust. So go to effect, unlink, make some adjustments, no visible difference. Well, the difference is visible, but it's a bad difference. Go to the bottom one, no changes here. Maybe adjust the luma a little bit to blur things out and adjust maybe a top one a little bit to maybe also blur things out a little bit. So if we take a look at the before and after, we do see that we lose a lot of texture and image quality, but we mostly get rid of the moiré effect. But how you can fix the issue so you don't have to do this in post is when you take the video. So don't shoot at a monitor or maybe black and white lines straight on, shoot it at an angle and also don't shoot it so close. And also zoom out a little bit when you shoot the video as you can just zoom in in post if you want to bring the action close to the viewer. And in this case, zooming in is bad. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful and you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon and until next time Jackal, keep it digital.